what's going on guys, Dale here from the Loose Joints, and today I've got for you my Machine Wars Starscream that you guys all probably saw in that video where I got the, all the random toys at the comic shop for 250 each. 250 each for a Transformer, oh my god. <laughs> you know, I had to, there's no way I could back down from that. And so, he's pretty big, as you can see. Um, I'll probably do a size comparison. Robot mode. He's got a lot of gimmicks and features. Well, first thing we're going to do, we'll flip down the landing gear. Okay, just so he's in flight mode, because <coughs> I don't want to put him down no more. So first off, he's got these solar panels. You can flip them, they'll be all black to blue um he has this telescope or periscope I should say that when you look into it, it you can see you look in from here and you see out of here unfortunately they didn't put a mirror there it's just shiny plastic so what you see is just the reflection of the pla on the plastic so it's kind of weak if I find the, salt, the materials and stuff, I might want to go in and put in a little mirror in there and stick it right there. But, it's it's a, it was a cool idea. Um, they did put a mirror on um, the original mold of this, I forgot its name. Um, JT Mitchell did a review on that, so you can go look at that. Um, other than that, he does have a good amount of missiles. He has four, four, one, two. Oops. So that's a total of ten missiles. So four in here. You rotate this around, and yeah, he's a bomber. So when he's like this, you rotate around, and when it comes, when the gap opens wide enough, it'll fall down. We'll see you a preview. There it goes. Pretty cool, but uh, kind of. And so this is a missile. I don't know why they're lime green, but it's cool. It's whatever. At least I won't lose them so easily. They're so easy to spot. Um, and I believe that's all the gimmicks. He's got all these little stickers that I had to put on myself, which is, as always, a bitch when it comes to transformers. You got to put them on the right size, and then sometimes the stickers aren't even made to fit on there, like these Decepticon logos feel like they're too big. Some of these are pretty nicely sized, but the instructions even tell me where to put all the stickers, and it's like number from 1 to 20 something, and even some of the, there was, they skipped a few numbers, so I didn't even know what was going on, so a few of them I had to kind of guess where they went, like the tail ones, I wasn't exactly sure if those go there, but um, hey, it looks okay, it fits, so, what the heck, okay, so, there we go, that's, uh, that's pretty much it for all those gimmicks and stuff that he has in the jet mode, I think his jet mode looks really nice, it's, it just looks fantastic to me, um, you know, for an old figure like this, I believe he was a KB Toys exclusive also, but yeah, for a great toy like this, I, I really like his uh, plane mode. Okay, so let's try start the transformation. We want to flip this landing gear forward. Um, and then we are going to split the nose cone, which is kind of hard to do. I must admit, that is, is really hard. Whoa, there you go. There you go. And you flip that out like that. Flip the legs around like so spread it apart a little bit pull down his feet pull down his pull out his ankles and there you go okay you also want to oh he was improperly transformed you want to pull down his arm it doesn't really make much of a difference though and then you can you're supposed to fold these back in the instructions and you pop this blue part open, 
pulled this huge backpack down. Um, I believe, I forget which, I believe they fold up. As instructions say. Okay. So, we've got him like this so far. We can move his arms out a little bit just so he's not so stiff. And, of course, the last but not least, flip out his head, close that, and then flip down his light piping cover. So then you can see his light piping pretty well, I'd say. Yeah. <coughs> you can see it good enough there. I mean, it's pretty good from there to there. Okay. And so, I believe that's it. <coughs> his Machine Wars star screen. He is pretty tall. Um, uh, yeah, pretty much. Not much of a difference here. I mean, he stands pretty tall, like I said. But uh, I mean, he's whatever in robot mode. I really like him in jet mode a lot more. Um. He's tall, I mean, he's big, but he's got really no articulation. His arms go from here to here to down. His head doesn't rotate at all. He has knee articulation, I guess, but that's just because of the transformation. And I don't know why I did this, but his legs are connected by this, and you cannot unconnect that. So his legs... Yeah, his legs have absolutely no articulation whatsoever. He's got a bunch of kibble. And so, I mean, for 250 that was a steal. But otherwise, he's whatever. Especially, he's not a Starscream. He does not fit with my Starscream collection. Because all my other Starscreams are white, blue, red, gray colors. Not this. This is not Starscream, but what can I say, you know, he's, he's good for his age, I mean, I'm still there. he's good for his age, it's whatever, um, I wouldn't pay too much for him unless you were really into the old, the old stuff, um, let's see, what do I got to compare you with? Uh, oh. oh, here. He's pretty big, so getting a deluxe class B pointless. So, my right, last review Inferno. There is. And so, yeah, he's almost twice the size of Inferno. He's pretty big, but hey. Um. He's good, he's good. On the box, he had a gun. A picture showed him having a gun. He has no gun. He was MISB, and the box showed a gun. But there is no gun on this sucker. And I guess that is kind of false advertising, but whatever, you know. And so, there you have it. Hope you guys liked it. Machine Wars, Starscream. Thanks for watching.